Good morning, children. Good morning. How are you all? Yeah. Okay. Today I am going to tell you one story. Would you like to hear a story? Yes. Let me. Okay. Come on. You guess. What story am I going to tell you all? Guess. Lion. Yeah. No. Snow White. No. King. Oh. No. These are all common stories. I am going to tell you a story of a small caterpillar. Is okay. it interesting? Yes. Okay. Here you go. Once there lived a mummy caterpillar and a baby caterpillar. Mummy caterpillar had to go out for some days. She says, "Baby, I have to go out for a few days, and you have to be alone in the house. No doing any mischief. I've kept for you food, and you're going to eat." Every day, each food. No eating cake, as doctors told you. No eating cake, as your stomach is paining. Okay, mummy. I will eat only fruits and vegetables. I will not eat the cake. Okay, now I'm going. Says the mummy, and she goes away. The baby is so happy. You, I'm going to be. Alone in the house, he runs from here and there, here and there, and then he feels hungry. He goes in the kitchen and he searches for some food. There he finds one juicy mango. He goes and he sees and he says, "Yummy mango! I'm going to eat you full." And he eats the entire mango. Again he starts playing. He's playing and playing and playing. Then he feels again hungry. He goes in the kitchen. He finds a red color apple. Now he says, "Oh apple, I'm going to eat you all." He goes and he eats the entire apple. Again he starts playing from here and there, and he's very happy. As mom is not there, even you all are happy, right? Yes. When mom is not there. Yes. Okay. The next day. Again, he feels hungry. He eats orange, then he eats watermelon, and then he eats grapes. Now the fruits were over. He is playing and playing and playing. Then he remembers, mummy had kept a cake. Mummy is not there. Why don't I eat some cake? And he goes and he searches in the entire kitchen. Where is the cake? Where is the cake? He goes, he goes and goes. Then he fights yummy cake. He's like, should I eat? Should I not? Should I eat? Should I not? What would you do? Eat. So even he eats the little cake. He eats one bite. He's like, oh, it's so yummy. A little, little more. Then it's more. Then it's more yummy. He eats the entire cake. And after some time, he starts crying. Oh. My stomach is paining. Oh, I should have listened to Mama. Why didn't I listen? Now my stomach is paining very badly. He cries for Mommy. Mommy, please come fast. Mommy, please come fast. And after some hour, Mommy comes. He's become very quiet and he's crying. Mommy comes. Mommy says, Baby, where are you? He says, No. Mommy, I'm here. Oh, baby, what happened to you? Mommy, I am very sorry. I did not listen to you. I ate the fruits, but I did not eat the vegetable. And I ate the cake. First, I thought I eat only little cake, but it was so yummy. I ate the entire cake. Now my stomach is paining. I told you no eating the cake. Anyways. Now I'm going to give you some vegetables, which your stomach will get all right. She goes in the kitchen and she gets carrots and radish. She says, "He says, oh, I don't like carrot." Mommy gets very angry. You have to eat the carrot and the radish, otherwise your stomach will not stop paining. He eats it very slowly. Oh, he eats it. And then he goes to sleep. After some time, he is all right, and he's like, "Mommy, 
I am all right. I'm feeling so good now, and I'm really sorry, mummy. Now I will eat only vegetables and fruits. I will not eat cakes and pastries. So mummy says you are a good boy. If you want to become healthy like me, you have to eat only vegetables and good fruits. And slowly, slowly, he becomes big and big and big, and finally. He turns into a beautiful butterfly. So, more of the story is: eat good vegetables, fruits, and listen to your mommy. mommy.